and we're gonna do YouTube and Facebook on this one and Instagram on my phone with that being said this is a supernatural blessed day I just feel so good I really do it's been a really blessed day as if I had a thousand tongues I couldn't thank him enough I couldn't praise him enough it's just been all praise and honor. I'm going to start off like that. With that being said, hi, y'all. I'm going to tell some people hi. Hi. Um, I'm doing a new dish for, like, tonight, but you could do it. It could be your new Thanksgiving dish, which... The salmon, don't worry about it. I want to show y'all some Brussels sprouts. The dish is about the Brussels sprouts because um, Barbara, the uh, store manager at Ralph's, was telling me about uh, she likes Brussels sprouts. And I told her how I do Brussels sprouts. And she told me how she do Brussels sprouts. So what I said was, oh, well, I'm going to put a twist on your Brussels sprouts. And I'm going to do a channel for your Brussels sprouts because I'll put a twist to it. So, with the Brussels sprouts, and this could be like a new thing on y'all table for Christmas. But we're going to eat it tonight. I'm going to put in, I put the stove, the thing on, but I'm going to do like about five bacons. Let's cut them in half so I can get all this in the pot. We gonna, that's three That's five. Five bacons. And we're going to cut this in here. And put it in the pan. And you know we're going to use some of this bacon fat. And we're gonna put both of them on because this skillet is for searing the fish. And this is gonna be for the Brussels sprouts. So I'm gonna put the bacon in both pans. So I may have a little bacon grease in both pans. It's a two pan meal. My cast iron skillet, which is my favorite grandmother skillet that I that I got from my grandmother. I have salmon and two pieces of um, the swine and catfish. It, it tastes like catfish. I don't care what nobody says. It tastes like catfish when you know how to cook it right. But with that being said, I put a little olive oil on it. You can't never pay attention to my container because I I I I have filled stuff up and recycled and everything else. I think I want five bacons on this, five bacons on that to give me the bacon bacon fat I want. We put a nice generous amount of olive oil. This olive oil. I know that bottle says avocado, but that's olive oil. On the fish my salmon my husband wanted blackened fish tonight so I'm gonna blacken that and blacken this but what I really want y'all to know is my lemon garlic butter with caper sauce now this is the one Tracy tasted today when she came in and if you come in while I'm sampling I always have this my lemon garlic butter with caper sauce that I sell at Matherm's and Ralph's Market. Matherm's Market, Ralph's too, in Gonzales. It's literally on a, it's, I have to drive at least, that has to be at least seven miles apart. Have to be. But I be doing some driving. 
and I do. Uh, Paula, look at hey, sister-in-law. All right, my girl. Um, I be doing some driving and some selling. Um, and I thank God, and there's nobody but God, nobody but y'all. Hear that sizzle from the from the bacon? That's the sizzle from the bacon back there. Now I ain't already rinsed my Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna put a big towel on that. I ain't rinsed them all. I ain't cut them. I took the tips off, cut them, and cut them in half. They're all cut in half. Cut in half. Cut in half. All right. Now. We gonna, we gonna use this bacon. I got my, my blackened season. Y'all can use any blackened season. Sooner or later, I'm gonna come out with some blackened season because when you taste my blackened season, it's by these blessed hands. So it's a little, it's a little special. Cause I like different things. If I don't just stick to the regular blackened season that most blackened seasons have, I do a little extra. So. Because of flavor. I like flavor. So that's that's the blackening is gonna go on the fish. And what we drinking tonight? Oh y'all know I had made my um uh, eggnog daiquiri and it's not cheap. It's not it's a half a gallon but you can inbox me if you want some because these blessed hands my Creole eggnog daiquiri Mm -hmm. That part is yay. Southern Comfort, 151 rum, and that yak. Yay. It ain't just yay. You know, when y'all go to other places, they have the Captain Morgan or whatever. Da -da 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 -da. These blessed hands. And anybody that ever went to my business or had a drink in my business, you know, we like. We like to, to know what we're drinking and we like to taste what we drink. And that's it. But I'm flipping this bacon. You want this hot, nice and greasy. Nice and greasy. We're gonna put the let's give it a little one piece. And I'm gonna cut this bacon up. I'm gonna chop this bacon up after it gets hard. I'm gonna chop the bacon up. I rinse these. After the bacon, we're gonna put that in there. And we're gonna saute it in the group in, in the in the uh, bacon fat for a little while before I add my Lemon, garlic, butter with capers in it. Yeah, I'm gonna add that in there. I'm gonna add this was a this was like three pounds of um because I didn't get the bag. Al actually Ralph's on 150.13, they had fresh. And if y'all see these Brussels sprouts, it ain't like the ones I get in the bags. I mean, it's like somebody really like, they're going to make me want to grow Brussels sprouts next year. Uh, actually. But let me get my wine. Wait a minute. What we drink? I don't think, I think y'all, I think I'm out of stuff up in here. Yeah, all I got is sweet stuff for my husband. And y'all know I don't like sweet stuff. It smell good in here with that bacon and I want to put I want to cut up a little onion my I will cut up onion and garlic but I cut I put enough garlic in there that I don't have to put up I don't have to do uh, cut up no onion but I'm hoping I have a half an onion in here and I don't 
don't have the hat on you right there. So, we're going to get this wine right here. And you know with red wine, it should be open. The, 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 this butter. You can get butter chardonnay, butter calf, butter, I don't drink Merlot, but they have that butter too. With that, you want a, with a red, need to be open, glass need to be wide and open for the red. For the, for, the, for the Chardonnay, it could be tall, like you get at the restaurants. And you know you can get the restaurants, but if you're at home, get y'all some nice open glasses. You smell the currant and the berries and blackberries, black grapes. and it's wet. I don't like a dry wine. Merlots are dry. Damn. If y'all know anything, they're a little strong too. It's gonna be enough when I cut it up. Like I said, this already has olive oil on it. So we're just going to sprinkle, get your, get your favorite blackening. So she'll come out with her blackening. You get your, and then sometimes, like, I'll do something, and I'll bring it to my demo and let the people taste what I cooked the night before. And I'll, I'll demo it. So I think I'll demo some blackened something, some blackened fish, regular fish, not salmon. Although I ain't demo some salmon before. You know what tastes the see this the frozen salmon. It come like six in a bag. I like fresh salmon. So we're gonna work with what we got. But the fresh salmon always tastes better. It does. And you make sure everything is cold.
Yeah, I needed some more. But we finna put the salmon, blackened salmon. Make sure you put a whole bunch of blackened salmon in there. The blackened salmon, I wanted this to go in a, because a, you know, a cast iron give you a better sear. Give you a better sear. Brussels sprout down a little bit before we add the sauce. We want to fry it down, and I'm only going to use this a small onion. I'm only going to use hey, I'm only going to use half of an onion, not a whole onion, half of an onion, and I'm cooking so late, and I said I wasn't going to be cooking late. No more. But let me say this before I forget. Like my channels, all three of my channels. The context I got y'all got next week. Y'all got got next week to know who won, who's the winner, who liked all my channels, who watched all my episodes, who was consistent, and y'all got to answer the phone. Or the email or whatever you call it. When I inbox you or whatever. When I inbox you. I saw an onion ball. When I inbox you. Answer. Leave a message. Y'all. That bacon, frying that, frying that with that bacon, frying that with that bacon is absolutely nice. Chad, hey Carla, new spoiler alert. We got a new. Let me wave. We got a new Brussels sprout. A new Brussels sprout to do. Carla cooks, Carla, Carla, Carla cooks a lot of my stuff. Carla loves my food. And she'll send me when she do something. Unlike y'all, most of y'all don't send me nothing. Now, y'all know this bacon fat is in here with these Brussels sauce. I just put that onion in here. We gonna coat these Brussels sprouts from that bacon. And we gonna take a little, yo, you would have smoked. Why that taste like, oh, 
the season is from the uh spatula <laughs> from the blackening. My bad. Well we might as well put a little black in the season. Because that tastes kind of good. We can put a little black in the season in our in our vegetables. Salmon. Bacon. I had to take pieces of bacon. I can't take bacon and don't taste it. Bacon is like the best thing in the world. Okay. Now I'm going to put the lid on this. But I want it. I want it to sear some of it. I wanted to sear some of it. And we're going to put the lid on. So make sure it's sear some. That actually tastes good with that black one. Okay. We're going to take the fish off. I tell y'all on my own sous, sous chef. We're going to do the salmon first. Though. Now we might have room for one of them fish, one of them peppers. Bacon. The bacon grease with the salmon. Amazing. And I have one piece left. So let me clean up this plate so I can transfer that. To that plate. Right, out. So we got to chop up. I leave that right there. We got to chop up this bacon. Crumble it up. I normally would put my lemon butter caper sauce on there. But I need to see how much I'm going to need for, for this. I'm going to have to see how much I need for this. But a little bit ain't gonna hurt me. That'll be enough. I really love this over salmon. I really do. And while it's hot, I just don't know how to make a zigzag, yo. All right. I tried. Okay. With this being seen. We're gonna break up this um this bacon to go in the Brussels sprout. So you're gonna get some more fat. Now we put, I'm going to leave, I'm going to put some of it in now and some of it in, some of it in for, I probably could have did like 10 slices. I probably could have made like 20 slices.
I still might do two more. Because that was five, six, seven. That needs a little bit more black in there. And rubbed in. See, the salmon sucked that up. This didn't really suck up this. Swanee didn't really suck up this. This black in there. You don't feel that bad, don't I'm gonna try to do the other ones a little bit more decorative. Because I want my I want my lemon butter kick the sauce on my salmon. I like it it's literally the best over blackened fish. It literally is cinnamon goodie goodie. Hey. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of bacon. And I'm, I'm, I'm about to slide two more tricks over there. I remember we want some crunchy so but So that would be a full of a nine. Try to go up where it makes sense. I'm going to be almost finished cooking, so I'm going to take the mine and roll with it. So that salmon, almost cooked. My husband like it a little. His little piece needs to be a little bit crunchy. Then the fact that he break up the bacon. But this Brussels sprout dish, we're going to stir this around. Uh -huh. yeah. If y'all had a smell of business, now I put this in there. This would be the perfect, the perfect dish for Christmas or Thanksgiving. For my the rest of my other fish. Let me get a spoon. A little fast one. No, y'all. I'm getting one more and I'm pouring the rest in my arm. Much better, much better. Make sure that's coated. Yeah, I need this back on here. When I tell y'all the perfect holiday dish. that just cook down. I have it on a medium to a low heat. I'm going to put the lid on it. It smells amazing.
that could so good. And we're going to leave a little punch around. Plating. I really, I'm going to work 2023, I'm going to work on plating. I'm going to work on plating, y'all. But I always tell y'all, I'm a cook, not a chef. Where are you going? No, my own cooking is all the time. Oh, okay. I'm a cook, I'm not a chef. With that being said. And I bake them this good. Everything tastes good with bacon. Miss Late Night Rider. All right, Miss Late Night Rider. So, before I forget, I need y'all to like my channel. Shells. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. I need to like them, share them, and sub you have to be subscribed to all three channels. Now y'all know I switched, I switched my Shell LLC and Shell Cooking with Shell. I switched the pages off because my son, Young Free, told me I need to dedicate a whole page just to my cooking and not have family when the, the children have a birthday or somebody have a birthday I put something on there or whatever he was like you can't do that mommy dedicated so I had to switch that around and my old page of the daiquiri shop that I had for 23 years I had that cooking with shells so I made that shells LLC so that'll be, Shell's LLC will be my personal page for whatever. But Cooking with Shell's will be my Cooking with Shell's, my business, my lemon garlic butter with caper sauce, my cream spinach, my Shell's cream spinach and artichoke. That's going to be Cooking with Shell's. So I need you to follow Cooking with Shell's on all of it. Instagram cooking with shells, Facebook cooking with shells, YouTube cooking with shells. Okay. And last piece. The bacon. Push the bacon over. Flip the bacon. Flip the bacon in our head. Bring that down to two. I bring that down to two. Mm. The butter. The butter. The smell. The smell of this is amazing. The capers, the bacon, and guess what we're going to put on top of this? So this looks like I'm going to put Cheese. I was gonna do the Mexican cheese. I'm gonna do a little of Mexican cheese. So I got it on over. The shredded Mexican cheese. And the Parmesan. Put the lid on it. 
Let that just drizzle all in there. Cut this off because that's me. That bacon will be for the top after that cheese and melted and got all gooey in that damn all uh, plate. Mr. Late Night Rider, you wave at. Okay. I like some of these names that y'all be having on here. And I was supposed to have more lemon butter caper sauce. But I was at the stores doing my demos. And all I wound up with was that one from Canada. I can work it all day. I'm hungry. See, that's just breaking off. That's just breaking off. I guess I could cut it up. But why would I? That's fine. Just like that. They have the crunch on them. When I tell y'all if y'all taste this, put that lemon butter cake on top. Brussels sprouts, bacon. You can't go wrong with bacon anyway. You know how most cooks puts butter on it to seal the deal. I use my lemon butter paper pot to seal the deal. But my blackening ain't missing that. This is so good, y'all. That cheese. And this bacon. Y'all want to try this. This would be a good Christmas to add to your menu, menu, especially if you like Brussels sprouts. I can't promise y'all that I'll bring this to the stool. We're going to see how this lasts. Or I have to do some more and put it in a container to bring it to the stool to let some of the customers try it. I'll do that. That's all. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Do you see it? Do you see it bubbling? Do you see it bubbling? Now I'm going to put this bacon on it. About to, I'm gonna take a snap a picture for bone of the teeth. 
beautiful. The crunch, the cheese. I always got none of this crumbling bacon. They gonna get it all. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all know that pan hot, right? Put the water on. But, Brussels sprouts are ready. Cheese, mozzarella, a little bacon. That's money. That's money for anybody table for Christmas, for Thanksgiving. But well, I just I'm just great. Date night, my night, single night. When I tell you call up, call up. I know my good friend call her. Call her gonna try this. Cause she like Brussels sprouts too. These blessed hands and did it again. This is so good. I had. I got to get me a plate. It's getting late. Y'all have a blessed night. Don't forget to like my page. Subscribe to all of my pages. Cooking with Shells. And share my page. Cook some recipes. Send them to me. We'll have a winner at the end of the night. 